Hayek and this video is about electrochemistry. Today we will talk about this documentary of a galvanic cell. Please check my previous videos related to electrochemistry. I will post the links in the description below. Consider the following galvanic cell. We are operating here at standard conditions since the concentrations of aluminum and lead are equal to one molar. As you can see, the one molar concentration is represented by four particles in each compartment. Today we will study the stoichiometry of a galvanic cell using particulate representation. Since the oxidation is happening at the anode, so more aluminum ions will be generated in the solution, and the aluminum electrode will decrease in mass since more particles are leaving the electrode. Since the reduction is happening at the cathode, the number of particles in solution will decrease since more particles are getting deposited on the cathode and therefore the mass of the cathode will increase. As you can see, two particles of aluminum 3 plus were released in the solution and the charge of the anode compartment was increased by 6 plus and this will lead the cell to stop since the anode compartment is getting positively charged. The salt bridge will pump anions into the anode compartment. Since every anion has one negative charge, then a total of six anions will be added to the solution. In a similar way, three particles of Pb2 plus were deposited on the cathode, and therefore the charge of the cathode compartment was decreased by six plus. Then the salt bridge will pump six cations into the cathode compartment since every cation has one positive charge. Let's review the overall process now. Two aluminum particles will be generated in the solution, increasing the charge of the anode compartment by 6 plus, and three lead 2 plus particles will be deposited on the cathode, decreasing the cathode compartment charge by 6 plus. The salt bridge will pump six anions of one negative charge each to the anode compartment and will pump six cations of one positive charge each to the cathode compartment. This way, both compartments will remain neutral and the cell will continue generating power. Let's remember now the redox reaction in this cell. You can go back to my previous video on standard reduction potential to review how to calculate the standard cell potential. The question now is what happens to the cell potential when the cell operates enough time for the concentration of aluminum 3 plus to change by 0.5 molar? To answer this question, we will be using ice table. Initially, both concentrations are equal to one molar. If the concentration of aluminum 3 plus will change by 0.5 molar, this means it will increase by 0.5 molar since aluminum 3 plus is a product. Therefore, the concentration of lead 2 plus will decrease by minus 3 over 2 multiplied by 0.5. Now the 3 over 2 is the molar ratio between lead 2 plus and aluminum 3 plus. At the end, the total concentration will be 1.5 molar for aluminum, 0.25 molar for lead. To calculate the cell potential now, we use the Nernst equation, where Q is equal to the concentration of aluminum 3 plus squared divided by the concentration of lead 2 plus cubic. Substituting every term by its value, then we get the cell potential is equal to 1.51 volts. To explain the particulate representation, we can use ice table as well. Initially, we had four particles of each. Since one molar corresponds to four particles, the change by 0.5 molar will correspond to two particles. Therefore, the number of particles of aluminum 3 plus will increase by two particles, 
and the number of particles of lead 2 plus will decrease by minus 3 over 2 multiplied by 2 particles. I remind you again that 3 over 2 is the molar ratio between lead and aluminum. At the end, we will have 6 particles for aluminum and 1 particle for lead. So initially, we had 4 particles in each compartment and the cell potential was 1.53. At the end, we will have 6 particles of aluminum, 1 particle of lead, and the cell potential is equal to 1.51 volts. I hope this video is helpful to you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.